All right, chaps. More TTYD remake. After I had my hot dogs. I had hot dogs and I had some cookies. Some cookie. All right, anyways, yeah. <laughs> Tell them. Tell me, what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character. Well, yeah, sorry, but only because he's tougher than we thought at first. You do understand that we x naughts must open the Thousand Year Door first, do you not? <laughs> well, rest assured that I'll definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, so I rapidly lose my patience. No, I mean, I did take a break. I took an hour break to have lunch and stuff. Just leave it to us, sire. <laughs> Let's away, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian. <laughs> oh, she just went all dot, dot, dot. Blank face Vivian is cursed. No doubt about it. I am so... I am so... <laughs> so so bored. bored. right out of my brain. Those awful X things haven't been back to ask about the map. Maybe they don't care about it anymore? Oh my, that must be TEC again. TEC. I like the little, like, Mario thing. There's, like, a bit of Mario in it. Where Funny Bunny? I don't know. Maybe I'll send some art later. Hello, Princess Peach. You always call me in without warning, TEC. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go where Sir Grotus is and ask him something. What? What do you want to? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grotus is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, he'll catch me and send me back to my room. That is true, but you'll find the soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You'll go see Sir Grotus looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? I imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly? Alright, fine, I guess. Well, so what do you want me to ask? Go ask Sir Grotus. I want you to ask... Dot dot dot... Funny bunny. Why in the world would TEC want me to go ask that? He sure is a weird computer. Oh, is this the elevator he wanted me to go in? Whoop. Oh, dude. Xenoth Fortress is gonna be fucking hype. Even if Xenoth Fortress is mostly a bunch of hallways. Please wait just a moment. There is currently a soldier in the vicinity. Look at that fucking retard. He's just walking past. Now, Princess Peach, after leaving the elevator, head to the right. It is the room nearby with the green lamp. Well, that was easy to find. Please change here. Quickly, the soldier's uniform should be in the locker. Um, oh, is this the uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? 
It is not ugly. How fucking dare you. Oh yeah, that's that's like a peach that's like a peach uh castle remix. Uh, I don't know about this. It smells it's awfully tight and it kinda smells a bit. Ew, who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe though. <laughs> I bet I look perfect. Oh nice, we get like sneaking music. Hey, slacker! What part of do not leave your post don't you understand, huh? Huh? What? Come again? Oh, you're on your break? Well, fine, carry on. <laughs> well, if anything, at least they have new music to make the peach sections interesting. Huh? Uh, you smell that, dude? What a weird smell. Uh, you smell nice. That's just wrong, dude. Imagine smelling nice. What? What? What is it? You have nothing to say. Don't speak to me, dude. I'm busy. See, I've got a busy X not clipboard over here, and it says, "Do not disturb." <laughs> it's too bad I can't walk any faster than this, though. Hello, the fluff dialogue. Wait, what's this room all about? Oh, this is the disguise room. Okay. Alright, well, let's go ask him. <laughs> Excuse me, Sir Grotus. Yes, what is it? Speak. Uh, well, it's still Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Oh, they made this like a full-on actual cutscene instead of like, he's just in the room, you walk to him and talk to him, and then he's like, uh... Hmm? Something is wrong with your voice, x not Uh... Perhaps I have a throat lozenge. No? Well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach? I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. Don't ever treat her roughly, you understand? Tell the others as well. But, uh, um, why... Why in the world are we keeping her here, then? That's none of your business. Don't forget your place, you impudent worm. Concentrate on getting the crystal stars. That's all I require of you. We astronauts need legendary treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. Conquer the world? Legendary treasure? What are you blathering about now? Hmm, something is odd about you. N no, nothing odd. Uh, so, Roger or whatever, please excuse me. Sus music. Ooh, that was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world? Talk about creepy. I wonder if that has anything to do with the collecting the crystal stars. There are no clothes in here. Hmm, must be somewhere else. There's my dress. Off with this thing. Yep, buy, 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 uh, outfit. Ugh, good old pink dress. My favorite. Why would I ever wear anything else different? I better get back quickly. Now, I always wondered, how the fuck does she get back without getting noticed? How? <laughs> hmm. Tech, you terrible machine. So your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course. After all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world, how could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? 
Of course I do. Nobody likes everything above the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there's also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? And what's this treasure? I'm afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grotus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mari about this awful plan for world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. The message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you've had a busy day. Go back to your room, please. Oh, okay. Good night, Princess Peach. Well, there's the Peach interlude. I'm really glad it auto saves now. That thing's so humongous. Anybody, hide now. Save yourselves. Who would have thought that fool Mario would be in Glitzville of all places? Did, did you say something, your rudeness? Uh, no, nothing at all as far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those were some puties. One of them should know about the Crystal Star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them all and force them to tell us about the Crystal Star. Raw. Ah, flee. Raw. Ah, you're you're scary, Mr. Giant. Wait, that's the wrong voice. I think. You're scary, Mr. Giant Bad Breath Monster. Don't worry, Petini. Your big brother's here. We'll uh get through this. Dirt it, dirt it, dirt it. Find them, my lord. Find the human punies and make them tell us where the crystal star is. Look, that shrub over there seems suspicious, wretchedness. Yo, yo, yikes. This guy is big and bad. He's large and in charge. Yeah, I'm gonna breathe fire on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why does why, why, why my fire work? Be gone! You're one of them, aren't you? One of the evildoers. You want a crystal star! Huh, see? I knew it! This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is! Tell us! How rude! Ugly thing, how dare you! You wretched crone! I am the great Pewdie Elder! Ah! My poor heart! Don't start on me like that! I'm too old for this stuff! <laughs> it's Hag versus Hag! Awesome! Uh, yes, Lord Bowser? Do you look as if you're just dying to say something? Oh, oh, nope, nope, nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You, Elder Hag thing, where's the Crystal Star? And don't try pulling rank again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. Ooh, hey thing. Honestly, in case you're too late, the crystal star is gone. But what? That's right. Oh, you rude thing. We gave it to a mustachioed man named Mario. He said he was collecting the crystal stars to rescue some princess. What do you call her? Princess Pinch? Yep, it was off to save that lucky lass. It's Mario, not Mario. And it's not Princess Pinch. Her name is Princess Peach. But your senility is besides the point. The princess and the crystal stars must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all. Treasures, princesses, does his greed never end? That jackal. 
both Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars belong to me. To me! If I find him, I'm gonna finish him off once and for all. I swear it. And that's the Bowser interlude. How thin. Ooh, listen to this fucking music. So now you must leave. Yeah! I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. Also, look, Prince Much is actually here now. Because he was strangely absent from the original. <laughs> I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the Crystal Stars. Good luck. Gonzales, I want to tell you, Rock Hawk ain't gonna fight dirty no more. I'm gonna hit the weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square, brother. And I'm never ever gonna lose again. Remember, when life rocks you, rock back. Yo, Lisa G Money, thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I ever met. If you ever need it, I got your back. Me, I think I'm gonna chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby. And it's all thanks to you. You're my boy, Mario. Now that grub is out of the picture, I'm gonna take over running the Glitz Pit. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. You have tons of fans, and they'd absolutely love if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? Travel safe. Thumbs up! How oh, marvelous! Now we have three of those crystal stars! I suggest we make haste for Rogue Point, wouldn't you say? Mmm. Wait, what happens if I go back in, though? Champion! Uh, I mean, former champion Gonzalez! Why'd you give up the belt? If giving up the belt's like water slide, what kind of swim trunks do you wear? Well, hold up for a champ. Uh-oh, Flash is out. I'm gonna look this pit. There's a guy you guess pay to say that, right? If he doesn't feel the same, it's gonna get weird here, but I have to tell him. Uh I started just thinking about him. Oh the glitch pit, huh? You quit being the champion? Is that right, truly? Well I guess I'll just wait for the comeback. Literally all Gonzalez posters. I can actually blow them, that's cool. Na -na 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 -na. Oh, what the fuck? The security guy is up there now, not Jolene. That's weird. Drop him! Ah! Kick, kick! Yeah! Don't you love when people scream for you? Yeah! Like that? Doesn't it just get you fired up? Real fight fans can beat read between the punches to see subtleties and pummel pummelings. I just wish the fighters would keep that in mind and give us a good show, you know? Fight, you loser. When I catch a good fight, I go home and beat the heck out of my pillow, don't you? No. I hear you loud and clear, man. You know it. There's a question. What does it say now? Oh, yeah. He does say he's the champ now. The Destructors and Wings of Night are still there? Weird. Do they just leave when I, uh, when I come back or something? I don't know, I'm, that, that I find confusing. Well, hello, you savage, surly son of a man. You're fabulous, dear. Pardon me, you quit being the champion. Whatever for, what a shame. I'm afraid I have no need for you anymore. Soon I'll have myself a new champion. Don't you worry, toodaloo. Let's hold the Christ of Star in front of the sh Oh yeah, 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 it's the same. You're welcome anytime, bub. I'm not sure what's when's the earliest you can come back to the Glitz Pit and redo it. But, yeah. Freelance Gary Man here, Gonzalez, our forward champ. Give me the inside scoop. You shoot fire, you to fought Lauer? That scoop's too hot. No one's gonna believe that. <laughs> I never noticed that dialogue. I'm gonna be a fire when I grow up, yeah. That way I can carry on the fight after you're gone, but... Great mustache, have you really quit fighting? Well, there Gonzalez, the ring will miss you. I'm so glad to have met you.
That lady's not there anymore. I gotta thank you, buddy. Since you're under the top, business has been booming. I'm looking forward to the day you make a dramatic comeback, big guy. If you're out of the picture, Rock Hawk will reign again. I'll be betting on him. Hey, Shane, champ. I can't believe you aren't gonna be in the pit anymore. Yeah, they all have a bunch of unique dialogue. The greatest fighter ever! The man! Great Gonzalez! You gotta fight again! I'll wait for your comeback until the end of time! We might- we might do, um... We might, like... Do the... what do you call it? We might do that again at some point. Ever heard of fighter's block? Someday you'll realize it's tough to fight forever. I used to try to brick trick people into thinking I could tell their fortunes. I'd be like, dark clouds are massing on the horizon. Heh, <laughs> awesome. I decided life's too short. Forget the air sickness. I'm riding that blimp. But I'm still nervous. I mean, you can't get off along the way. Are there parachutes? <laughs> Seems like that girl still hasn't overcome her fear. A very good day to my very good man! You have no doubt noticed good spills many aromas. Oh yeah, the hot dog. I gotta buy another hot dog. Actually, don't I wanna have don't I wanna have like a bunch of hot dogs in storage for a future like trouble or something? I'm gonna do that then. I'm gonna put some in storage. Alright, um here's store. You know what? Let's buy a couple. Let's buy some point swaps so we can have a little fun. Let's also buy some power punches for fun. And I'll buy an earthquake as well. That should be good. So you're gonna give it the chance field now or what? Can I have it? I told Daddy to buy it for me, but he says you can't buy a championship. What a rip. I see, so you're leaving. Everyone has their reasons. That's the way of things. But hear me. When you do return, I expect the same caliber of fashionism. Hmm? Is that right? Ah, uh, so you plan to travel? I wish to ask you to consider being Bob's tutor, but alas. I don't, I, I don't actually know how much of this dialogue is new or changed. Because <laughs> I never read much of the dialogue in the original. And that's what I'm here to change today. Alright, we're leaving. We're leaving, guys. So I guess we're gonna do some more side questy stuff today. <laughs> what can I do now? There's not really a whole lot that opens up once you have the Yoshi kid with you. But, whatever. Oh! oh! Mario, do you look alive? That may well be an email from Princess Peach. Uh -huh. Oh! Dearest Mario, I've uncovered, I've uncovered something terrible. These things, the X-Nuts, they're planning to take control of the world. 
It's to that end that they're seeking the crystal stars and trying to claim a legendary treasure. I still don't know what that treasure is, but you must hurry and gather the crystal stars. I will gather what information I can. Peach. They wish to rule the world? Well, I refuse to bow to such megalomaniacs. Oh, you know what? Now would be a good chance to check the lottery. Is it still rigged? Yeah, it's still rigged. Fucking consolation prize. Yeah, I think the lucky lottery is still rigged to this day. Oh yeah, Linguini is here. I loved your performance in a Midwinter's Days Flurry. I've seen it three times. Oh yeah, I gotta check all of the dialogue here again, because all the dialogue in Rogue Court changes, I think. You know, Dig Dwindles way while I love him bit doing nothing, dude. Oh well, the great Gajal is one, so I'm super rupert rich all over again. <laughs> yeah, no shit, they, all the dialogue changes here. Pretty awesome. I wish that was great. Man, that was close. I know where that thing leads to all too well. I don't want to go there. That's the same. Hey, how you doing? What, me? On top of the world, baby. Mm, that's a little different, I guess. Mmm, smells nice downstairs. Oh, it smells like they're making grilled cheese or something. Yes, you won't believe it. I got the fourth prize in the Happy Lucky Lottery. Tomorrow I'm gonna get the third prize for sure, yes. I I'll be here until tomorrow. Oh, how refreshing. I don't care if people think I'm a freak of a Goomba just because I like flowers. Alright, time to get Goombella out. Well, I got my second piece of the marvelous compass at Plump Belly Village recently. Oh boy, I really got my hands dirty on that one, I tell you what. It was pretty bad, boy. You wanna hear what happened? It's a long story. But like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Once we made landfall on the Strudel continent, we made for Plump Belly Village. Once we got there, we immediately noticed that not something was wrong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hiza. He said that the beast demanded to offer up his own daughter as a sacrifice too. So of course, being heroic, I offered myself to go in her stead. Brave, huh? Now the custom was for sacrifice to be dressed as brides, so I got all dolled up. I was one hot sacrifice, bro. I looked so good, I fooled that force and got in his lair. It was kind of rough fighting in that gown, but I managed. Chiffin was really chafes, bro. I finally found his and the snake had a second head on its tail. Talk about scary. I fainted real quick, but when I came to, I managed to distinct distract both heads. I waved that fangs bad to attack, and at that moment, I definitely lunged left. He's getting him out smashing into one another, and he vanished into a cloud of smoke, bro. A shining plate fell down on the spot where his body had been coiled. Yes, another marvelous compass piece. I set it and pointed east to Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it, she was sort of cute, but we ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still let the same princess declare from the chestnut king. And when the marvelous compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro, I certainly it was Princess Eclair's voice. I had to get the race. That's when I realized it. Princess Eclair, I think. Oh, kind of zoned out there. Uh, oh yeah, so we set sail again at the ditching town. And so we managed to get back to Road Point, and here I am. Ooh. I'm sure he knows that this is your brother Luigi, duh. Seems he's suspenders deep in his own offbeat adventure right now. If you ask him, well, he'll tell me about it all, but I wonder how much of his story is true. Well, I guess. I'm Jerry. I'm a ball. I'm from Pump Billy Village. Nice meeting you. 
Sorry, I sounded so down, but we, we, you would be too if you seen Luigi's big bridal stunt show. He's so clumsy in heels. He was like a wobbly force of nature, falling down everywhere, knocking things over, tumbling into people. Now I have an obligation to tag along and clear the area of Luigi so much his glances at, st at a stiletto. Somebody has to be the herald of the co coming wobble apocalypse. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. That's Jerry Luigi's bob buddy. He's a little different from most bob -ombs. He seems rattled and a bit bruised, as if he's taken several lumps to the head from a clumsy bridal decoy. Speaking of which, I wonder how graceful I would be as a bride. <laughs> That's my mo Oh, I have a lot of money. Chapter 3 has me set for life, mate. Alright, Charlie. Do you have the goods? No, you don't. You have a fucking dry shroom. And a stopwatch. I'm surprised how expensive Charlie's shit is in this game. Alright, fuck this ride shroom. Which of you guys have new dialogue? Smell that? Something smells like hot dogs. Yes, and diddy duty. Hey, did you go eat at the hot dog stand in Glitzville? The one people talk about? If you did, I'm jealous. This is my brother's shop. Someday I'd like to have my own shop. That'd be nice. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing, like, who has new dialogue and all that. Isn't it a huge secret, but I won't want to tell you, I'm a law onto Goomba. <laughs> I'm so crafty. He, like, slightly changes his dialogue each time. <laughs> Yesterday, I blew through 400 coins of the parlor, but next time, it'll be all good. That guy keeps increasing his moon knee. Hmm. That guy seems to have the same. I do find it interesting when Sequence updates a bunch of dialogue. You look like you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you about something. How about that? Some people are so good at fighting, they fight with stylish moves, you hear me? Pretty sure that guy who lives on the ground will tell you about stylish moves. If you're interested, go talk to that guy, because I'm all tapped out. <laughs> hey, hey, you know I make good jobs, do you? You know work? You know easy work, insane pay? Yeah, I love a job where I get flattered, pampered, and fussed over. That's like my entire skill set. Got to thinking, it's blown up a part of the national bomb identity. Now I figured there must be lots of blokes being all bombish without blowing up. It was after I realized that I quit blowing up all the time, it was an eye opener. That guy's dialogue does change, interesting. In scram, don't talk to me. My heart's burning for my long lost love. Yes, the reception blew at the parlor in the west part of town. How is she, I wonder? I'll never forget those eyes and the passionate secrets that they hold. <laughs> Anything new with you, Flavio? No, oh, Flavio's the same. Oddly is the same. Oh, oh, Master Mario, haven't you found the princess yet? I wonder if she might be out admiring the local landmarks. She does enjoy sightseeing. Please don't waste another moment. You must find the princess. You must. I think we're good on that. Um, is there anything I can sell? Any, like, shitty badges I don't need? I don't really need HP plus P. <laughs> that one's kind of useless. Hmm. I mean, honestly, these are all useful, though. I mean, I probably won't use Shrink Stomp or Soft Stomp, but I like having them, just cause. So now I could buy a, a different badge, like Simple Fire. <laughs> I get that in my inventory. 
add it to my badges. How many badges I got now? 35 out of 86. Okay. Oh well, yeah, so I want to check out all of our, um, let's check out our moves here. So we have Earth Tremor. Press A with perfect timing. Successes affect damage. Try to pull off as many as you can. Shakes the ground to damage all enemies. Clock out. Set off a bomb that immobilizes characters for a short period. When a, bot a button appears over the enemy, tap the button. Be careful the bomb will move toward the button being pressed a lot. Yeah. Clock out is actually pretty easy to do. Power lift. Temporarily increase your party's attack and defense. Align the cursors with the good panels and press A. This can boost attack and defense by max of 5. Oh wow, they have like a little marker. That's really cool, actually. I wonder how power lift is going to control, though. Oh wow, Mario's, um... This thing, like, updated now. Hold for paper mode. Y is plain mode. It adds everything here. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. Both the minus and select button do the exact same thing. <laughs> they should have made them distinct from each other. This newborn Yoshi baby may be small, but he's got quite an attitude. Press X to hop on his back and move quickly. Press A when jumping to float through the air for a short period of time. Not what I meant to do. Drop on enemies from above, crutching them repeatedly. Um, the more the gauge is filled, the more he'll- I think I already read this. Yeah. Hey, either way, we gotta upgrade. We gotta upgrade the Yoshi at some point. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I believe if I go to the train station and come back, Charlie will refill his shop? We'll have to check that out. There's also a house I didn't go into. Actually, you know what? While I'm here, let me talk to you two. All I ever think about is how this train cuts through the wind as it races across plains. Like a torpedo on Earth slicing through the relentless winds. Doesn't it just fire you up inside? I don't have the money left, but my dream's to one day ride this train. Uh, there wasn't so many touchingly s sad goodbyes on this very spot. Uh, it's just so deep, man. I love the thought of it. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Let's see if he restocked now. My brother just plays all day. He never does his homework. It's terrible. You have a brother? Yeah, you see that little hole in the wall? We'll have to come back for that, too. Ugh, my kid just plays all day long. I hope he's growing up normal and everything. I can't work because I worry about him. I need a dark, quiet place to write. No, if it's too dark, I'll just fall asleep and never... Then I never... I will never get rid. <laughs> Mm. Rookie, the great Gonzalez, takes glyphs by storm and upset on the way. Graffiti corner, Rockhawk might be strong, but he's no Prince Mush, is he? No, he's not. A fighting fan. <laughs> oh, yeah, I already read that. Um, oh yeah, right, I was gonna check Charlie. Lost my train of thought. Well, he has timing tutor now. <laughs> That's not quite what I was looking for either. Fuck. Okay. Let me try one more time, and if not, then we'll just say fuck it for later. I 
no, 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 no. I do love the little lows thing in the bottom right. That's very fun. Come on, man. I need my W emblem. There it is. Unbelievably low price. Yeah. When he also has Mega Rush. I'm buying that too. You need one BP to wear this badge. I pretty much need to have that on at all times. What a deal. Alright. Putting both of those on. I'm Wario now! Let's go. Perfect. Did Lumpy leave yet? Oh, he's still not leaving. I don't remember when he gets back. I think he doesn't get back to like chapter six or something. No, oh, no, which I work. It seems like I'll never get filthy rich. Of course, I get got a choice. Got to work to live, which means. No way, you grungy dog. Move your lazy bones. Yep, the world full of, is sure is full of strange, mind-boggling, sensational places, all right. What's that, a Sky City? Huh, never heard of that. I'd love to see it one day. Why does this guy's line dialogue never get updated? Actually, those both of those two never get updated. One's a great pirate. Okay, I think that's the same. Good winds blow through this old port. Right, filthy it is. Dreams still come true, yeah. Oh yeah, and here's um, here's the first appearance of the SS Flavian. Pretty fucking cool. Nice to see this thing again. Save time. Turn on it. This is really reminding me of my Bug Fables Let's Play now, where I did so many fucking side quests. Like, I swear the side quest was like half of that series. <laughs> it's honestly crazy. So yeah, I have Mega Rush now, which means Mario's gonna be extra OP. Or I'll kick you. Like, the dialogue is slightly changed each time. Hey, my name is Darkly. I like dim places, yeah. Huh? You see this town is on the ground part to it and I should go there? Yeah? Back a take down there, I bet. But I have to walk out in, in the sun, so no. How the fuck did you get here, then? Really? You went to a sea in the sky? Cool. I bet that place all glitzy and full of action. Must be a fun spot, definitely. Alright, it's time to upgrade Josh, or we. Oh, I don't have enough Shine Sprites, fuck. Really? They didn't have that many- they didn't have that many Shine Sprites in- in Shitsville? Hey, this area is a terrorist now and the brand, well, a band of thieves. I don't know what brings you here, but if you think you're gonna meet the boss, heh. <laughs> you know, there are always rags to riches story about people from rough neighborhoods. When you grow up poor, other people can really identify with you, I think. Anyway, poor or rich, anyone can grow up to make a difference. The rich end of that sounds nice, though. Uh, so what bre what we have left? Help wanted, heartful cake recipe, and the food I want. I need some cleaning done. Motivated workers only. Please meet me in the promoter's room, Glissville. I guess we're taking on Jolene's trouble next. Do it and do it right. By the way, if I ever if I ever stop randomly, it's just because I'm messaging people. With me, my name's Pierre. I'm what's technically called a completely awesome thief. 
I used to work as a geologist, but it paid nothing. That's when it- okay, I think that's the same? It seems pretty... samey to me. Hey, you, yeah, you missed chump. You met Don Pianza by going to Glitzville, huh? Back when I still had the pool in this town, I used to go to Glitzville all the time. Since the boss has your back, I'm not saying nothing. But I still hate you with the intensity of a thousand suns. God, I said something. Alright. Here's, um... I bet most of y'all don't know about this. Or maybe you do, I don't know. Anyway. We have a special, unique NPC hack here. That's Goose. Turns out the trouble center was being run by him and Ishnail's boys. He may look violent, but he's actually an intellectual. He will surprise you, huh? Whoa, what's the meaning of this? You found my secret way in? Dang. Look, a lot of, shall we say, sketchy requests get submitted here. So don't tell anyone what we're ones running the trouble center, okay? Bonk. There's nothing in here, it's just a fun little easter egg. You can find out who's running the trouble center. Oh yeah, I know what I can do. We can go over here now. I can also get this star piece panel up here. Oh, I'm on top of it again. Fog. And there is also this over here. A shine Sprite over here. Well, now I can upgrade Josh. He has, like, some weird momentum to him. I'm not gonna get used to that. Because in the, in the original, he's, like, he just goes from, you know, 0 to 100 in, like, one second. But in this, he kind of, like, has to build up speed. Maybe this is me. Oh, fuck. Alright, see how badly we can talk this up. I mean, maybe there's coyote time? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Here, we're gonna get some lore now. That guy's name's Grifty. He's a laid-back rooftop minstrel type guy. He tends to know all of the stories that get passed around Roveport streets. For a couple coins, he'll tell you one, and you never know, it might help on our travels. Good afternoon, Kenny, sir. I'm called Grifty, traveling minstrel. I spend my days here in leisure, spinning tales that spin the senses. I know about a few of the stories that surround the town of Roveport. If you like, I can share them with you, but it will probably just a few coins. Is there a tale you want to hear? There are the tales I can tell you now. Well, yeah, I can listen to three of them. But I mean, five coins I can share you with the tale of the fearsome demon. Ages ago, a city flourished here in peace and splendor. But it was destroyed in a single day by a demon from the dark beyond. Historians claim a great calamity befell the city, but nay, it was a demon. The city sank below ground, and one quarter of the old city became the demon's den. And I love that he has his own theme song! This demon put fear into the hearts of all men and sent out minions to take the land. And it's then its palace grew rich with the treasure stolen from all over the world. If there's another tale you wish to hear, just ask. I can tell you the tale of the hero who arose. One day there came a hero who could vanquish the fell demon. The young toad from Petal Meadows was strong of arm but shy of voice. All those around the boy teased him endlessly about the way he spoke. But when the demon cast his fearful glaze across the lands and reached out, the young toad used his strength and honor to defend his people, and he became a hero to all, despite his odd voice. If there's another tale you wish to hear, just ask. The Wise Goomba There was a wise Goomba from Boggly Woods gifted in knowledge of the world. When beasts rose to take the woods, this knowledge helped people fight them. And this Goomba who knew them way of that every monster would attack, 
she began to think of a way to banish all monsters from the land. There's another tale you wish to hear. Okay. Well, I can't ask any more, but... I think more of them open up as the game progresses anyway. Yeah, that is, that is pretty fun. Also, if I remember correctly, I think you can, like, jump across here. Oh! Doesn't look like that does anything, though. Oh, I think they do that on purpose, though, so you can't get over there. Yeah, smart. Hey, let's learn about some more secrets of battle, then. Over here. <laughs> Ice Smash in detail. Let me tell you about a badge that I found pretty handy. Ice Smash is a badge for phrasing your enemies. It even works when you miss the act command, which is pretty sweet of it. Head rattle works the same way, but for confusing your enemies. Yeah, sadly a badge I don't use much these days. Status changes you don't want. The truth is, not all status changes are good for you, Mario. For also making it so you can't move for a few turns, when the ice breaks, you'll take some damage, too. Tiny rolls your attack all the way down to zero for a while because your boots and hammer get real small. Soft rolls your defense all the way down to zero for a few turns because your overalls get thinner, I guess. There's others, too, so keep your eyes peeled and be ready. So how do you prevent those from happening to you? You can block them with a god or super god. On the feeling fine badge will make you immune to bad sizes. Shout it, whatever. During battle, you can press Y to swap places you have your partner and change the order of your actions. When you're in front, you can attack first, but you're also more likely to get attacked by enemies. If someone's rolling HP, one thing you can do is move them back. Remember that, Mario. But running gets you nowhere. If you keep running away from fights, it gets harder and harder to do a successfully, Mario. But if you fail to run away or just win a battle, things will go back to normal. There's probably a reason- in, there's probably a right fashion in there. Something you gotta face your fears or they'll force the, they force the issue. Also, it's easier to escape some enemies than others, and there's a few you can't, can't, can't escape from at all. Rise right, another tool in your belt. Just think about it when and where to use it. Merle the Charmer. You know Merle? She's a magical type person who lives beneath the old part, road part. If you have a cast of charm on you, good stuff will tend to happen during your battles. If you see a building if you see a building growing brew in the distance down in those sewers, that's her. Pay her a quick visit. Her services aren't free, but they're pretty handy. I stop by sometime. What do charms do? Let me tell you more about the effects of Murray's charms. Whenever charms want to go off, you see Murray pair for a brief moment during battle. If she appears just before you attack, your attack will go up by 3. If she pops up before an enemy attack, your defense will boost by 3. If she drops in right after you win a fight, she doubles any star points you earned. If she gazes the stage after the battle's over, her charm will triple earn your triple coins, I say. Charm will activate a certain number of times based on the path you choose. More coins gives you more magic. Mm. There's still some more we can do. Oh, this. Enemies on the ceiling. Enemies on the ceiling are protected by from both hammer and jump attack, which stinks. In this case, you need to attack with partners that can reach up there. An example, for his body shram could knock them right down. There's probably others as well. Oh, and there's also Quake Hammer, which hits all enemies on the ground and ceiling. I think that's enough for now. Gotcha, give me some time to figure out a few more secrets on the and come back whenever. Let's go talk to Dazzle. Dazzle probably has some good shit for us. Some good juice. So what badge can I get now? I guess I'll get, um, quick change. And I will also get flower finder. Why not? And I can also afford, uh, pretty lucky, I guess. Oh. Yep. Dazzle also seems nicer in the remake. Well, I don't know if nicer would be the right way to put it. But... Definitely seems like, um... 
he's less disappointed if you like stop trading badges or something. I don't know. I, I I would need to look at the the original and see if I can confirm that or not. I can either confirm or deny. Hmm. Do I have to? Oh, I can hit this block now. I guess. Oh, look at that. Where's my shortcut to, um... Where's my shortcut to Chapter 3? You know what? I probably need to, um... Go to Rogueport. I mean, you probably need to go to the Thousand Year Door first. Before that opens up. Then I can do it. Wow! Yeah, we've got more partners here now. It's so fun having all all the partners here. So flashy. Oh! Look at that. I love the pop-up book okay, setting, so cool. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magic map. There's the fourth crystal star. We're gonna have to show Professor Fankly again. It's okay, we have to let him know what Princess Peach wrote in her email anyway. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What? The group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on total world conquest? It sure sounds like it. I don't see why we, we they need the legendary treasure, huh? Oh, this doesn't bode well. The situation's gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held to what I thought would be a preposterous theory. The book claimed what the treasure what that the treasure was in actuality the Great Cataclysm. The very cataclysm that a thousand years ago sank that town on the ground. Oh! Wait a sec. So they want to use this cataclysm power to take over the world? I can't say for sure what they'll do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they do get it, then once again this town, no, the entire world could be destroyed. Oh my gosh, Professor, then we gotta get the next crystal star right away. Uh, according to the map, it appears the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Hmm. Twilight Town? To tell you the truth, I don't know much about the place myself. Only rumors. I've heard that as the name implies, it's perpetually dim and eerie there. Wait just a moment. Aha! There appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere here in Rogueport. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay? Beat the west part of town? Gotcha, we're on it. Thanks, Professor. Ooh, all right, Mario, let's do it. Okay. There should be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere beneath the rogue, uh, west end of Rogueport. We'll go look for it. Koopy Koo, miss you. Maybe two are doing okay. I have to admit, with Koop's gone, I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely and I go into Coop's house and I smell that Coop smell. <laughs> I guess it's your cologne or whatever, but it makes me sad. Lately, the place is starting to smell more like your dad, Coopily. He has his own smell and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hooktail's gut. It's disgusting. Now I gross myself out. Well, and since he's gonna be my dad too, I guess I better get used to that smell, huh? 
Oh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed. But I'm saying this anyway. Haha. <laughs> Love Koopy Koo. Oh, I like that, like, photograph. That's a cool... I don't know if that was there in the original. Wait, I have already a miss you too? Old Toe settles in. It's come to light that after settling a life at our inn, Toadsworth has often been spotted in the company of Zesty. The, the notoriously finicky Zesty surprised all when she heard what she was heard saying, What's wrong with my spending a little time with my little total twos? The possibility such a common open head has... I can't read, jeez. Such a comment opens has our eyes and ears glued to the situation. Our focus of attention this week, Pungent's Great Tree Shop. Pungent's easygoing management philosophy is money and customers are so fickle, so easy come, easy go, you know? He fully understands why his shop isn't busier, too. We're well hidden, but like any good treasure, we're worth looking for. He even has a special offer for RDM readers. For the next 15 minutes, I'll give you double shot points. Cooking for rookies. Today's yummy recipe, spicy soup. Steep a fire flower in hot water and presto, you're done. The perfect first meal for kids to cook. We've been working all night to bring you this edition of RDM. Look forward to more hot, hot news in issue 3, coming soon. Also, um... Another thing I was gonna do was I was gonna check the art. Let's check the art of chapter 3. <clears throat> hey, oh yeah, it's called Oolong Town in the Japanese version. That's what it's called. There's the blimp. There's all the different, weird different designs for it. Were these all, like, considered at one point? <laughs> Here we have all of the different places. You can see them at different angles, too. That's pretty cool. Wow. Look at this place. It's like different lighting and stuff. Love it. Holy shit, they got, um... I need to zoom in on this stuff. Okay, so we got, like, the Major League room there. We got, uh, the Minor League room over there. I, they have, like, different lighting and stuff. There's the table. You got the Game Boy Advance with Grubba on it. You also have a bunch of different other colors with, um, one has Jolene on it, too. Cool. There's, um, the machine. There's, um, what the fuck is up with this lighting over here? Why is this one, like, all glittery and stuff? There's the, there's the ring. The ring looks really cool. We have some concept art. <laughs> what the fuck is up with Rockhawk's design, though? He looks, I don't know, weird. <laughs> there's some, you can see a Jolene and the bartender. I'm assuming these are all, these are all concept art from the original 2000 game. We also have uh, the Yoshi Kid there. I do love me some concept art though. That's very cool. We have uh, Chapter 3. This is apparently part of Chapter 3. I think I missed this song completely because I skipped the thing. The Tears of a Pianta Boss. That's a good that's a good title. Battle of Litz Pit Arena. That shit that shit's good. Seven Wonders of the Glitz Pit. Well, that's just straight up what the song is called. Backstage mysteries. An accident occurs? Yeah, I like this music. This music is pretty good. Badass Grubba theme.
Might need to add that to my my Spotify or something. Let me listen to this music too. This shit's really good. Invent Battle Bowser. I love that they just made this a battle theme. Like, they made a new battle theme for Bowser 1. I might have to listen to more of this, like, on my own time. Wait, listen, let, me, let me listen to the Rock Hog theme again. It still sounds like, you know, his theme is fucking great. certain character to unlock what the hell's up with that some good fucking shit, man. I, I'm just- I just don't know what to say. <laughs> it's too good. Alright, anyways, I believe now... Uh, well, yeah, let me upgrade Yoshi first. <laughs> upgrade Wii. I only have five Shine Sprites. Didn't I just have two, like, not too long ago? Pretty sure I did. Shazubi! Oh. 
Yeah. All right. So I guess we're gonna go to back to we're gonna go back to Glitzville. We gotta go back to the store. If I'm ever caught to though, I'm pretty sure Jolene's trouble pays pretty well anyway. Oh. So for once, we actually have a warp to Glitzville. I know, crazy. This is one of the biggest things. Alright, so we're gonna find out. Where does the Glissville pipe take us? Let's find out. Takes us right here. Nice. Alright, well... <laughs> Time to, uh, take on her trouble. <laughs> You're the ex-champ, right? Yeah, the Greek Gonzalez. I don't know if you know this, but this Jolene's in the fight, is the fight promoter now. If you have business with her, head on down the hallway to promoter's office, okay? Oh, are you planning your comeback? Cause that'll be awesome. <laughs> well that too, I might do that too. I do gotta wonder, where is Prince Mush at? We still don't know where he's at. Oh, it's you. You're gonna fight again? That's great. There you go on right ahead. Okay, our new promoter Miss Julane's right inside. Yes, yes, who is it? It's customary to knock before entering. Oh, why, it's the Great Gonzalez. It's been too long. How have you been? I must tell you, we've seen a huge, a big drop off in attendance since you returned the belt. I was a touch worried. Our financials didn't look too good for a while, but luckily, Rockhawk made a dramatic comeback and is reigning supreme again. Yes, it's been a whirlwind of activity every day since I became a promoter. Wait just a moment. Are you back to fight? Great Gonzalez's return? You must be, right? Yes, yes, you must be. Come on, tell me it's true. Thumbs up. What, you wanna re unretire and battle again? Haha, <laughs> I always knew this day would come. Let me just find your old registration so we can. Huh? Oh, ouch. I'm so sorry, but all of our records of you seem to be gone. Oh, fuck! So, my only option, sadly, is to start at you in the minor layers again. Sorry. No! Sorry, but rules are rules. We can't bend them, even for an ex-champ. I'll just go ahead and put you on as a minor league fighter again, then. When you want to fight, you know the deal. Use the locker room communicator. I'll not be going over the arena rules again, of course. Bye for now. Hello! You accept that request? Well, fantastic. Let's get down to business. I need you to clear out the garbage in the storeroom. I can't get anywhere near it. I have a problem with garbage. I don't talk about it. Just put it somewhere I can't see, alright? Alright. I mean, I love how... I still find it funny that, like, the earliest you do her request, right? Like, she she signs you up and all that shit. <laughs> but, like, you're just there to do the... You're just there to do the request. Also, I went right past it. I'm stupid. No, this would be a great time to listen to the original music again. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. They got the they got the old ass sound effects in there though. Wow. 
Why do they do it? Why did they do this? <laughs> I forgot how annoying this is. Oops. That's all of it. Like, unless there's some in, uh, the other room. I'm just gonna double check. It's been a while since I've done this trouble. Yeah, I don't think there's any in here. Oh god, so painful. Yoshi goes so slow downstairs now. They nerfed him. They nerfed my boy. You smell terrible. Oh no, you, st you don't still have that garbage on, do you? You have to take that stuff far away from here, I can't stand it. I know of a Goomba named Goomfrey in Rogueport that buys stuff like that. I've already gotten in touch with him, so just get that trash out of here. Thank god there's a fast travel system in this game now. Still a shame you can't go through doors while riding Yoshi. That would have been a nice quality of life, <laughs> yeah, like addition. I'm also glad they added this pipe here, man. This is gonna make these troubles way less annoying. Yeah, I spoke to Jolene. Now, who is this at least you want to take care of? Not who? What you say? Well, fine. Let's get it done. What are we doing here? Here. This is way faster than the original, though. Because in the original, you give him one. He's just like, you still got some left? <laughs> I guess we're done with this one. Man, I never had a job this stinky. Make sure you get dress paid for this, man. <laughs> well, that's pretty great. Wow! Uh, good to hear the old This Phil theme song now. Here's your reward. You have my gratitude. 30 coins! I guess we won't be getting the smell of that, out of that room anytime soon. Yeah, yeah, I did it. I think there was a few more... A few more troubles.
People aren't kidding though, they did say this game feels slower than the original, and I noticed it. It definitely feels slower. Might have to, might have to like, I don't know. Maybe there's a way I can like, play the game side by side or something and watch and test out my gameplay, I don't know. There might be a way I can do that. I'll have to have a look at that. Oh yeah, so one thing I was gonna do is I was gonna look at the tattle log now. So, um, oh yeah, KP KP Koopas. A Koopa warrior that battles at the Glitz Pit in Glitzville. It may be different in color than your Koopa average Koopa, but its abilities are the same. A Koopa paratroopa whose diet's shell, otherwise it's the same as any other paratroopa, which means one stop and it loses its wings. When shady Koopas are flipped on their backs, their attack power will be increased. They enjoy a place of honor in the Koopa family tree because of this distinction. Other than having wings, this creature isn't very different from a shitty Koopa. Once it flips off its back, its, a, it, its attack it gets boosted. A member of the elite forces of the Koopa clan. Its pair of red eyes is its most charming feature. After charging its attack, it deals devastating blows, so watch yourself. Well known for their vicious and relentless hammer lobs, Hammer Rose have a reputation as one of Mario's toughest enemies. A Koopa who uses boomerangs instead of hammers, beware of returning boomerangs. A relative of the Hammer Bros who can spit fire. If one of his blasts hit you, you may catch on fire. A cloud riding member of the Koopa tribe, Lakitu attacks by throwing spiny eggs, which slowly hatch into spinies. A spine covered member of the Koopa tribe with extremely high defense, it cannot be damaged when it rolls into its ball. The sturdiest of all the Buzzy Beetles, a red spike top is impervious to fire and explosions, plus the spike on his back. Protects it from being flipped over. Ready, Cody! This red garbed Koopa wizard uses a wide variety of magic, including attack and defense boosting spells. A white robed one that has a wide variety of magic, including magic to replenish HP and that of its allies. A green Koopa wizard that electrifies allies or make them invisible. Bowser. Just Bowser is in here. Blazer. Mario's fate enemy, Bowser the Koopa King, is a foe to be feared. His typical turf is not Glitzville. Dark Craw. Huh. I just noticed Dark Craw and Gus have different types of spears. I never noticed that. A ghastly looking spearman that'll poke your feet if you try to stomp it when a spear is pointing up. It attacks by throwing spears or charging. A petty thief that charges at people and tries to steal Moonie. If you guard well, though, he can't steal a thing. A bandit boss that steals items as well as Moonie. Guard when he charges at you to hold on to your goods. Uh, what about the green fuzzy? This minty fuzzy replenishes its HP as it drains yours, and it can multiply. Defeat it quickly. A fuzzy with lovely coloring. It'll suck your FP and attack with magic when full. A cactus ghoul covered from head to base in nasty spines. It attacks by lobbing sections of itself at you. I can even call other pokies to come and fight alongside it. Hmm. I'm noticing there's some missing, uh, entries after the pale piranha. Swooper. A, ro a, ro a roosting creature that'll hang from the ceiling until damaged. A hyperactive bald cleft that could charge up energy, boosting its attack to 8. No attacks could pierce the defense of this hard metallic cleft. Are they impossible to defeat? Since this one is wearing green shoes, it must be the younger brother. So they're actually, uh, they actually are different entries in this game, like usual. So we're missing the hyper cleft and moon cleft. That's normal. Um, Bob bomb a round bomb soldier that gets furious when damaged, and attacks by charging and then exploding. A red brutal chain chomp. Attack and defense are high. Rumor has it it's so angry because someone painted a red while sleeping. So I think this is right, the normal chain chomp, and then these are the other two bomb bomb variants. And then after that, I don't know. Rockhawk. A champion fighter. Battling him requires a certain level of artistry. You wanna hate me because you can't help but love the rock. Macho Grubba has the confidence to match his muscles after being powered up by the Crystal Star. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, okay. You know, I, I think it does make sense that Beldum and Marilyn get extra entries for their later encounters. Same with Bower. Like, I'm pretty sure that's... Like, this is gonna be Cammy, and this is gonna be the second Bowser. Yeah. We also have some recipes. 
Yeah, I do not have a lot of moon me. Let's go do some more troubles then. Wow. Also, um, I don't know what the hell I just did. Okay, I, I something weird happened on my OBS. <laughs> Anyways, uh, more troubles. We have, um, heartful cake recipe. And yeah, how do you make a heartful cake, anyway? That's a good question. I should probably look- I should probably look that up. You know? So why is my, uh, CPU usage going crazy? Result, we also have the food I want. Oh, I know how to do this one. Could you fetch it for me, please? Beat me at Pedalberg. This one? Ugh. This one's easy. Cause I'm pretty sure you just need two hot dogs. So I can do this one, no problem. No problemo. And hey, you know what? We're gonna li li get to listen to some classic tunes. So that's pretty great. Do you guys any- do you any guys have different dialogue, by the way? Hmm. Like, I feel like by this point, a lot of the dialogue is gonna remain unchanged. How's Koo is doing well? Take care of young Koo, will you, Mario? Yeah, that's the same. Doesn't look like a lot of the chapter one dialogue actually gets changed. I know the, um... I know, like, the robot text gets changed. Anyways, Bubulber. Hello and good day to you, I'm Bubulber. You came here after hearing my request. I'm so happy. I would like to ask you to bring me a hot dog. Yes, a hot dog's what I desire. It's said to be spicy, but I've never experienced spiciness in all my life. Some say they are sold in glycerol. Please get one for me if you can. I'm still very, very hungry. Please bring me a hot dog from glycerol. I forgot to get them out of- I forgot to put them in my inventory. Oh! Oops. Well, you know, I am kind of tempted to do the pit, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna withdraw some hot dogs. I forget if Horsetail alone makes anything. I don't actually remember. See, my, my, my TTYD knowledge in terms of recipes was never good. Or recipe knowledge in general? Did you bring something for me? Ooh, so this is a hot dog. I'm gonna go right ahead and try it. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, so hot, hot, hot. So this is spicy. Well, this is the spiciness is quite interesting. Makes me crave more of it. I'm terribly sorry, but could you get one more hot dog, please? I must have another one. I'd appreciate it. Mm, oh, so hey, being on that hot dog, I dreamed of this. I should have heard immediately. Mmm, oh, hot, hot, hot. Spicy, spicy hotness. Now this is spicy. Oh my, that was possibly delicious. Good gracious, I'm sweating with pleasure. I'm rather surprised that it was spicy rather than just spicy. By the way, I know this is rather rude, but I love to chase that with a sweet. Sweets are the spice of life. That's my new theory I've just now coined. Could you maybe cook some cake mix, please? I really want a piece of moose cake. Oh, I forgot about- I forgot about that part. I did not actually know that. I've, I know he wanted two hot dogs. Fuck. I know he wanted two hot dogs, but 
I forgot about the moose keg part, I will be honest. You know, now that I think about it, I kind of wanted to go to the Pianta Parlor anyways to get some cake mix. Because I want to fill out my recipe book, you know? So, you know what? This might not be a bad time to go finally do that. <laughs> Just pay a bunch of Piantas and all that. Yep, it's finally time to go to the Pianta Parlor. Hey Charlie, you got anything, you got anything new? <laughs> Slogo is 60 coins. <laughs> Alright, well, Pianta Parlor, here we come. <laughs> Alright, let's just... Oh, right, I don't have any money. <laughs> this is a problem. <laughs> be baby, exchange complete. Surely I have enough, right? I'll trade in my winnings for cake mix. Cake mix is only six. Glad I'll gladly get that. I can also get refund. I get two cake mixes actually. I'll make one for myself and I'll make one for the bulb. It's a shame there's only two bulbs in this entire game because I had more variety in 64, but you know that's not everything can have as much variety. Cake mix. Moose cake, yeah. I'm loving to hear a little bit of the music. Um... Yeah, I don't think any of this other shit makes anything. That's the problem. Alright, get myself a shroom fry as well. Alright, and I think that's good. So now we can go finish up that trouble. Now we, uh... Okay, how is our recipe list looking? We got 9 out of 58. Like... The problem is, you can't get that many recipes early on. Most of them open up once you get the cookbook, and that's not until after Chapter 4, so... After Chapter 4 is when you start getting more recipes and all that. Back to Glitzville. Love that sound. Ooh. So I'm trying to think of all the recipes off the top of my head. I don't remember. Also, I don't think I can do Merle's Trouble, because doesn't that require, um... I forget how that works. Alright, here's here's your moose cake. Oh, moose cake! I can't wait to eat, so I won't. Mmm, ooh, sweet! Good gracious, I'm quite satisfied now, but I feel like I've been demanding. Maybe I just wanted to be spoiled by others. Maybe I was so selfish, because... Well, it's such a peaceful place. I crave peace, love, and food. I'm sure that's it. Anyway, let me show my gratitude. Yeah, dried bouquet. I've been growing these dried bouquets lately. If you want more, just bring me another hot dog. You'll always be welcome here. Thank you so much. So yeah, dried bouquets are exclusively a cooking item. And I think they're using like three or four cooking uh, uh, items. I remember when I found out I had to do that guy's fucking trouble to get dried bouquets to fill out the recipe log, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> it was pretty funny.
Oh yeah, by the way, let me also go over here and break this block too. <laughs> yeah, I'm 100%ing the game. Is that, also, is that mod already? What mod? There's no mods yet, sadly. I'm working on it though. Well, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we do get some funny mods for this game. I would love to show them off. I mean, actually, we could check the, we could check game banana right now, even. We'll see. Let's check game banana real quick. I thought that Mayro was a mod? No. I'm gonna check, though. Um, Paper Mario. Um, TTYD Remake. Well, there's... FPS mods. Let's see. The, the mod contains a cheat to help at some parts when 60 FPS mess with game's logic. Um, so there is a net 60 FPS mod. This one was released when? One day ago. Hmm. Press ZL and D down D-pad to force the game to run at 6.30. Press ZL and D-pad down to force the game to run at 60. Okay. I might test it out. What else we have? Oh, you know what? How about I show you guys? I show you guys the, um... Yeah, I'll show it. Um... Yeah, let's do that then. Uh, what window do I capture, though? Perfect. That's exactly the one I wanted to capture. Okay. Um, here. I might actually just have the Brave Browser always here from now on. Might be useful, honestly. I uh, rename this to Brave. Never mind, it's already use. We're all ready. Alright, so we have um, Luigi over Mario, that's open. Ultra wide mods. It makes, it gives you 21 by 9 ultra wide screen. In case you have that. Re encoded video files. What the fuck does that mean? This mod re encodes the pre render files inside the game from 30 to 60 FPS, eliminating stutter. Oh. Interesting. We have, um, Shadow Siren's name restoration in progress. Um, Sega logo over Nintendo logo. We have Giant Goombella. Just makes her big. <laughs> that's all it does. Okay. That's, that's, looks like that's what we have so far. Okay. Well, you know what then? I will test out that 60 FPS mod again, um, maybe before I start chapter 4. And I'll, I'll let you know, we'll, we'll see how it runs. I'll, I'll get my re live reaction to that. Now, I don't remember if there is anything else I want to do in terms of troubles. Um, Artful Cake Recipe. I want to make a heartful cake recipe, but I forgot the recipe for Mario's sake. I have to keep my shop open, so can you find the recipe I'm hoping? I first learned the recipe from Toast Tea over in Petalor, you see. Please meet me in the Chalmers Hut beneath Rogueport. Hooray, hut! Actually, I don't think you actually have to cook the recipe for this. You just have to figure out what the recipe is. I don't know why I keep... <laughs> I don't know why I remember that. misremembered that. Again, it's been a really long time since I've done these troubles, guys. The last time I did these troubles was like... Uh, had to have been on like a real GameCube like eight, nine years ago. So I don't remember much about these... these troubles. It's been like a long ass time since I did them. I really must know how to make a yummy, tasteful, heartful cake. In a house by a gate, you must go. 
to ask Petalberg's toast tea all she knows. We will do that then. Game's such a vibe, bro. I love it. Yeah, Yoshi just feels slower in this game, man. I don't know why. Thank God for the fast travel room. I think fast travel is so nice early on. Can't wait to have fast travel for chapter 3, 4, and 7 specifically, though. It, feel, it does feel weird that they only had fast travel for four of the main locations in the game. So I know our toast tea is in this house. Yes! Yes, hello, I'm Toast Tea. Do you need something? What? You want to make a herbal cake? And who asked you to? Merly? Let's see. I know you need cake mix and ruin powder. <laughs> I wonder who Merly is making it for this time. You just need to tell her the recipe, I'm pretty sure. We can't even buy ruin powder yet anyways. Like, we don't get ruin powder until chapter 4. So, that stinks. That smells. It's poopy. I don't really know what's the fastest way to get to Merly. We'll just go this way, honestly. I do think one improvement, though, over the original is you can enter pipes and uh, enter doors wall on the Yoshi. It just hops you off and you have to hop back on him. So it is still a slight improvement over the original, I will say that. I like how the music gets all muffled when you go in the background here. That's a pretty cool detail. So did you find the recipe for heartful cake for little me? Yes! I remember now, that's right. Of course. Wow. Oh no, what shall I do? I have no cake mix. Boo hoo. And I cannot leave my shop here. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I hate to ask, but could you please bring me some cake mix? I'm on my knees. I gotta buy- I gotta get more fucking cake mix? God damn it. Ah, oh, I already made moose cake. That's the problem. Well, guess we're gonna go get cake mix. And I'm broke, too, so I gotta sell my lucky- one of my pretty luckies, probably, to get it. Actually, no, I have enough piantas to buy another one. I'll be fine. So we can do this, no problem. I get the vibe to the rogue port theme again. Yay! Dude, I can't wait to get, like, all those coins back from Lumpy. That's gonna be a hype moment. And then, to be honest, I might not even need all the money by that point. Who knows? All the money. I have just enough for a cake mix. <laughs> there we go, now I'm out of piantas. Also, now that I think about it, right? Lala gives you 10 piantas for doing her trouble. 30 coins gets you 10 piantas, so it's essentially the equivalent of her giving you 30 coins. It's just it's pre-converted to you for you already. Which, I, I don't know, I think that's kind of neat. And I'm glad money is actually worth a damn in this game, because you can get good-ass items and badges and shit. Now, if only Paper Mario... I mean, we're gonna have to wait like five or six something years for the next Paper Mario, honestly, anyway. Because Origami King came out 2020. This game came out 2024. Yes, it's a four year gap, but it's also a remake. But the fact of the matter is, Paper Mario games tend to take four to six years to make. 
so we probably won't get another Paper Mario game until the next Nintendo console. But there is a chance that whatever the next Paper Mario game is, it'll be in a similar style to this remake. Do you have cake mix for you? Do you have it? Let me see. Here you go. Thank you. You're the best. You passed my trouble test. You cannot make a cake without cake mix, right? No doubt. As you make a heartful cake, mix rune powder well to make the cake mix properly bake. I'm going to make it tonight, and it'll be out of sight. Then I'll charm someone right. Thanks so much to you, dear. Here is your reward, here. Three more bucks. Yay! That's all the trouble. I think that's all the troubles I wanted to do. Boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -doo. Yeah, we'll test out the 60 FPS mod in a little bit, though. We're gonna... I'm gonna keep messaging uh, my girlfriend. Because <laughs> I've been doing that throughout the stream. And uh, I'll also, you know, see how the 60 FPS mod runs. Because I found one on GitHub, but it ran like shit. So I'm gonna do another one and see if we can get it to work. Okay, I'm back. I just tucked my girlfriend in, so... Uh, we're gonna be exclusively focusing on TTYD for the next four hours. Three or four hours. Me and Desmond are gonna play Terraria in four hours, so I might go for three more, and then, um, take, like, an hour break again, so I can, like, just relax a bit. So, yeah. Anyways, we're gonna go on and actually, like, go to the Twilight Town pipe. Because I haven't done that yet. I've been dawdling way too much. And, uh, you know what? Um, I might sell that other- I, I mean, I, I might actually keep that other pretty lucky, you're not gonna lie, just as a joke. And... I forget what dry bouquet can cook. I don't think it cooks anything on its own. Like, it has to be used with something, you know? I think you use it to make, like, salads and stuff. Shit like that. <laughs> Shit like that. Also, oh no, I just realized something. I'm gonna have to make this jump with the awkward new Yoshi controls. Fuck. <laughs> I hate this. The new awkward Yoshi, con Yoshi controls make it so annoying to, like, flutter across. The less I have to flutter across here, the better, really. There we go. Got a shine sprite there. You know what? Sure, let's get this star piece too over here. Just having a fun vibe to the music. You know, I will admit, though, it is gonna feel extremely weird to go back to the TTYD, um, like, the original TTYD now after playing this one so much. I feel like it's gonna be the most uncanny shit ever. Like, once you play a remake for so long and then you go back to the original, regardless of what you do, it's just gonna feel really weird. Because <laughs> you get so accustomed to the knickknacks of the remake. Alright, Gumbella, what do you have to say about this room? Also, I like the texturing on the pipe. It looks really nice compared to the original. Right down below Rogue Court, there's a pipe here that connects to a Twilight Town. The Twilight Town. The pipe rejected you. What's up with that? Let's go talk to the professor again. <laughs> it made a funny, like, <clears throat> made a funny fart noise. Oh! Asshole. You get to hear nice classic battle music too, though. Nice. Nice, nice to hear that again. It's not that I won't get to hear it, because I might run, do an infinite pit run sometime, I don't know when. 
because I mean, I'm, I, I basically had this stance that like, I'm not going to do a Mario RPG um, rando until I finish the remake, and then I did stand by that, even though it took me like half a year to get through it. Pepper Mayro. Well, let's go talk to Frankry. Frankury. Professor, we found the pipe that leads to Twilight Town, but it totally didn't work. It just pushes you right back out. We can't get through. What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd. I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea what you should do. Oh, wait, of course. I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogueport. If anyone knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, uh, dang, what was it? Uh, yes, the Lower of Dark Places, Darkly. I've seen him luring around here in this part of town if, uh, in the past. Look for Darkly. Hundred year yard doorknob? Hundred gnarly. Also, I'm gonna take out Flurry for one specific reason. You'll see why in a sec. Hi there, name's Darkly. I'm from Talit Town. You guys need something? Mmm! Huh? You can't get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Oh, yeah. yeah! Well, shucks. It's usually no sweat. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? No, not everyone does. No! Nah, really? Okay, hang on then. I read it for you. What's your name? Thumbs up! Maya, huh? Okay, I read it here on the see your overalls. Mario, huh? Yeah, perfect Mundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name too. What's your name? Depends on who you're asking. For you, I'm Flurry. Mmm, a bit to the left. I don't know what Aaron is taking to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be reading for you. I love the, the way fucking flurry makes it sound so suggestive. It makes it really funny. So, wait, hang on. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Let me let me say that again. Bonk. That was not intentional. Woo. Okay. Well, guess we are going to Twilight Town after all. Well, we will in a bit. Cause you see. Um, I want to test out a funny mod. So in the next episode, we will test out a funny mod.